from it is a site called Nadula hair company it is based through Amazon I'm not quite sure if it is also available on Aliexpress but I got it through Amazon <clears throat> now I got a 10 inch closure with 12 14 16 inch bundles and I did my hair I did made my wig a little bit different than how you would usually see someone make a wig usually if someone gets 12 14 16 they install them 12 14 16 but being that I wanted it to be a blunt look I went in with the 14 inch the 12 inch and then I put the 16 inch bundle on top and then the, the 10 inch closure over top of the 16 inch bundle now also doing that will make the hair very short in the back long at the top which would also make it not layered now I do know that I do have the 10 inch closure but I did cut it up here in the front to frame my face and it blends pretty well in the back so you can't tell but now if I was to do the 12, 14, 16 you would be able to see the layers in it and that's not what I wanted so that's why I did it that way hope that makes sense but yeah so I also colored the hair as you can see I bleached it once I actually didn't have enough developers so I had only done the top and then I left the back just the natural color but I didn't like it so I went in and I just bleached the whole head all over again and then I just put that's why the color at the top is more vibrant than the back very very light flowy very light and flowy when it dries of course it's gonna get bigger and bigger but it looks very natural and very uh summertime vibe this is what i'm getting right now so definitely will recommend this hair as far as shedding goes um it does shed but of course it's going to shed because it's curly hair your natural hair sheds so what i would suggest for people that are looking for curly hair and that are looking for less shedding and that kind of stuff don't go into buying hair expecting that it will not shed at all all hair is going to shed regardless if it's straight curly wavy it's all going to shed but now when it becomes to get a little bit more excessive that's where you should be concerned but a few strands here and there is definitely not going to hurt anyone um, and of course at the longer you have the wig the longer you have the hair the more wear and tear on the west become so the more shedding is going to happen so you can do there are multiple ways you can um, avoid shedding there are multiple ways that you can control shedding um, by just not manipulating it all together stop running your fingers through your hair now this is curly hair so I wouldn't suggest running your fingers through it anyway because the curls would get less and less defined and stuff like that but now I'm running my hands through here I have one strand probably can't even see it but I have one strand and that's not bad at all as far as shedding for this hair I'm good with it the west being very thick um, as far as the shedding goes tangling is not a problem I've only had the hair for a few days now so I can't really attest to tangling and all that kind of stuff but I want to take my wigs off um, when I am not doing anything so most likely when I'm done doing this video I'm gonna take this wig off um, so I would definitely recommend that if you are wearing wigs to take them off when you're not doing anything if you're sitting around or sitting around the house just take it off because that means when you're laying on it when you're doing different stuff that's where that tangling and stuff comes from in the back and up under your ears and stuff that's where tangling comes from if you're just constantly rubbing on a sweaty neck in the summertime a scarf in the wintertime so if you have a wig or something just take it off when you're not wearing it and uh, comb through it and brush through it maintain your hair and that will definitely uh, help with the longevity of it in the, in, in the ending so all together definitely will recommend this hair that they're super nice company they're super nice people definitely kept in contact and were very prompt when responding to emails and messages and all that kind of stuff so definitely will recommend this hair now I also do have a short clip of me installing my elastic band into this wig so <clears throat> it's gonna be right after this it's gonna be real short and sweet because I know a lot of people have questions on how I install my elastic band to make my wig very 
snuck to my head. It's not glued down or anything. My elastic band is here. So I'm going to let that clip play. And that's going to be pretty much the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep watching to see how I do the elastic band method. See you guys later. Okay guys, so we're gonna get started and I have my wig here. Now for your elastic band, you want to take some elastic. This is from Joanne Fabrics and I got it in one inch non-roll elastic. So now what you wanna do is take it to about where the closure stops, stretch it until how tight you want it to be. Uh, that's a little too tight so you're gonna you're gonna adjust it some people measure their head and subtract a few inches but i do it this way because i like to be able to know how tight it will be on my head when i sew it down onto the closure so this is still a little bit too tight so you just want to keep adjusting it until you have it to the tightness that you would like then you want to just take your scissors and it and this I like this elastic because it has like the ridges in it so I can tell where I need to cut kind of I'm gonna take it and you're gonna attach it right to the edge of like the closure and the wig now when you sew it on there you want to sew it into both the cap and into the closure I'm sorry if you guys can't see it but you can see that I'm I went into both it's into both now the good thing about closures it has the like band kind of on it I'm trying to show you. it has like this little protector thing you want to kind of sew into that because if you sew straight into the closure you may risk uh, getting holes in it stretching it out all that kind of stuff and then that means the hair will fall out so now you see that it goes down so now I'm gonna start going down the side to make sure that the elastic band is like attached to the cap so you just now be careful with the cap because you don't want to necessarily go through the elastic on the cap more so just the fabric part you just do it like that I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but I'm trying my best. You see how I'm just going through the cap? I'm not going through the elastic. And you go through. And now I'm going to kind of stop it here because I don't want it to go too far down. And I just wrap it around about three times. Pull it through. And it's pretty much knotted now. But to add extra security, making sure that that thread doesn't come loose, I'm going to go through and knot it again and then cut the, cut the thread. 